day 217 and it's a fine day for it as well it's leg day in the forest and then to the gym for more legs because I'm beginning to have nightmares about the hills in the Lake District in the ultramarathon in five weeks time believe you me it is enough to keep one up at night just thinking about how many hills there are to get up and although I don't plan on charging up them and blowing myself out 20 miles too early I've still got to get up them at a decent power walk pace and the stronger your arse and your legs are the easier it's going to be mind you a 63 mile ultra marathon and the word easy should never be used in the same sentence should they <laughs> summer hath returned it seems I've spent the morning trying to, well, writing to producers in Bristol at production companies, trying to convince them to make a documentary about the effects of, should I say, the devastating effects of salmon farming on the prist once pristine remote fjords in southern Chile, where I was fortunate enough to visit with the Chilean Navy 20 years ago, actually 23 years ago, through a local contact. and salmon farming is devastating the marine ecosystem and the fjords. There are leopard seals out there, seals, penguins, whales, dolphins, porpoises, condors flying over the peaks and the Chileans have pumped an absolute fortune with the help of the Norwegians and the Scots to pollute some of the most pristine waters on earth. And it's very, very sad that they're actually doing this, but and I've yet to see a documentary about it. So with any luck, we'll be able to convince them to make one. I doubt it will be going into production anytime soon, but you have to start somewhere and it all starts with an idea. Okay, next leg. Yeah, salmon, all, all you people out there that eat farmed salmon, whether it's fresh farmed salmon or smoked salmon, it's all farmed. Hardly anybody gets wild salmon anymore. And if you do, you pay an absolute fortune for it. But the farm salmon industry has a lot to answer for. There's one or two companies that don't put antibiotics into the pellets that feed the salmon that then, you know, crap everywhere and the whole ecosystem on the floor underneath the pens dies and all the surrounding area. It's just like when coral goes white and gray, gets bleached because of sea, sea uh, temperature rises or pollutants from oil spills and sunscreen and, you know, whatever else is destroying the world's coral. And that's what farming salmon does to these pristine environments. You've got to be, I'll be honest with you, you've got to be a bit short in the brain to eat it. It's so unhealthy. It's the most toxic food you can put in your body. But hey, people drink too much and smoke cigarettes. I mean, anyway, rant over with any luck. Maybe one of the producers I wrote to will get back and wish to discuss it, which means a trip to Bristol, which I always love. I can always go to the rental houses and look at all the mega expensive camera gear that I can't afford to buy or even rent for more than a day. <laughs> okay. never remember to bring a mat up here for my 
bony ass. It's so uncomfortable on this log. Okay, 